Hi guys, Jasmo here and today is a crazy day. There has been a massive exploit going on that people have been doing. I'm going to tell you a little bit about that. I had a crazy day farming currency. I made like over 60 divines farming Sanctum and I had an absolutely insane run where it was completely blind and then it ended up being very, very rewarding. So I'm going to show you that as well. But first, let's talk about the exploit. So some people have found that you can take and like, you know, my Atlas, of course, looks right now like this. So I wouldn't be able, able to even do it but uh, you can scry uh, your um, maps you can basically make it so that uh, divination cards from one map drop in another map instead and so people were taking burial chambers and making div cards from that map drop in one of the t1 maps and then in that t1 map i think it was like siege i think people were doing um, and in that t1 map all of the cards that basically would be able to drop were like level locked so you couldn't drop any of the cards except for like the brother's brother's stash or brother's gift one of those that gives five divines so it would it was the only card that was able to drop and then people were using this, this scarab of plenty i think and they were able to get lots of these cards so i can show you guys screenshots from this so this is what one of the groups farmed during like this exploit they bought a ton of stuff and I'm happy to report that they have been banned. You can see this account is of someone who has been uh, doing this strategy, which was definitely not intended by GEG. It was like, it's technically maybe not a bug, but it was definitely not intended. And they abused it to the point of like making insane currency. You can see, look at this. Brothers gift, brothers gift, brothers gift, like so many of these, right? So people were getting that and basically getting just thousands and thousands and thousands of divines like literally thousands of divines per hour strategy getting all of this loot right and now they're banned they're banned and their stuff is getting removed as well i've heard that uh, like stash like guild stash that had tons of stuff has been basically nuked so this is gone now but it did cause mage blood to go at one point yesterday as i was checking because i'm farming for mage blood right I'm, I'm stacking my divines i'm like should i buy apothecary snow because it, it, the apothecaries were actually like more expensive than one fifth of a mage blood so i was like okay i'm just gonna save for an entire mage blood maybe it will take me two days uh, because mage blood was like 150 divines right so i could make that in two days but then it went to 250 divines right so because of that influx of divines they were just spam buying mage blood so if mage bloods are disappearing from the market then the price is going to increase however now that this is gone the price is stabilizing again so now from 250 divines they're down to like 180 again right so that's at least something good that gg did that they quickly fixed it they very quickly reacted they banned the people so that's really really good in other news in more normal realm of uh, events i had an absolutely insane sanctum run where I got the, uh, I, I had an option and I, and I had to pick the smoke that hides the rewards, right? I think it's the golden smoke or whatever it's called that hides all of the rewards. So you cannot see like what is in the room. You cannot see if it's a fountain, if it's like chaos, if it's divines or, or whatever else. You can't really see anything. Um, and I had to take it because that led me to a path that was guaranteeing to divines. So I'm like, okay, fine. The rest of the run is like, bricked whatever i will still finish it i will still kill lycia most likely but and it was like on floor three so i got these two divines and i got the smoke and then i got two divines more randomly and then i got two divines more randomly so i got six divines from that run without being able to see anything just randomly stumbling upon divines after divines and some of them were from uh, like dark pact i think or like the, 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 the whatever the pact that you're doing uh to like you know to get us some kind of a trade-off and then at the end you can pick up the reward so i got Got lots of money from that sanctum that was very very nice and my character is basically the same as in the last video with one change there is one change that i've done and that is i got finally level 21 20 quality penance brand of dissipation so what i did is i leveled a bunch of these penance brands in my offhands i leveled six of them in the offhands and then i had one of course that i was using and then i just manually uh gem cutters prism them to 20 quality and I was buying temples to double corrupt. So I hit one like 2117, it quality went down. 2115, quality went down. I sold one of those for like a couple div. 
So I still made profit on, 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 on that. And I got myself the 2120. It hit on the third try. So we got 2120. Is there any on trade 2120s? They're worth like 4.5 divines right now. So it was much cheaper to run the temple. So I did that. And now I'm going to basically continue running Sanctum. And probably it's going to take me like one more day. And I'm going to try to get Mage Blood. So hopefully in the next video update, that's going to be what I'm going to be talking about and uh, telling you basically my exact strategy. This build is perfect. I saw today Tai Tai Killer running Sanctums as well on his Hex Blast uh, Miner character. It was Hex Blast Miner Assassin, I think he's playing. I'm not sure. Uh, and the character is pretty good. Of course, Hex Blast is good, but I personally don't like it. Like he said that his POB DPS uh, is about like 12 million or something like that, which is basically what I have. But my character is so much easier to play and so much faster, so much more comfortable. Like, like I'm definitely 100% uh, happy with that because he was running like level 80 um, Forbidden Tomes. I'm running level 83s since yesterday because of how easy this build makes it, right? So you can check out the guys that I have on my channel. You can check out the POB that's going to be in the description as well. But the basic idea is that we have Penance Brand of Dissipation that we drop two of at the same time and it lasts a really long time. My Penance Brand attached lasts, uh, let's see, attached nine seconds. Nine seconds attached, 11 seconds almost unattached. So I can just drop it and then it's gonna kill the boss. I don't even need to cast recast the brand. It's gonna like, for example, the floor three boss. I cast the brands one time and then I just run away from it. And that's that's it. That's that's all I have to do. I can only just like sit in the back. It cannot hit me and I can kill it very, very easily. And then another thing, because I'm stacking cast speed, because I'm playing Penance Brand of Dissipation, I also have access to really nice lightning warp, which allows me to just jump super quickly, skip so many different things, so many different annoying rooms. You can just skip past them with lightning warp. Uh, like so many, like the de uh, was it desecrated chambers? No, decrepit crypt. I don't like one of the rooms that is like very annoying that has like like four lasers or like six lasers and it's like a very small area you have to dodge back and forth. If you try to do that with flame dash, it's very annoying because you just end up hitting the cooldown on flame dash so you cannot recover the cooldown fast enough because you have to do it so much but lightning warp is just perfect for that because you can just jump back and forth without any cooldown non-stop so i highly recommend this build for running sanctum it has been very profitable and very fun to do and i'm gonna continue farming until i get a mage blood and that's probably gonna be when i post the next update thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time Bye bye